From the News Channel 8 studios, let's talk live with your hosts, Natasha Barrett and Melanie Hastings. Well, spring break, we said, just a few weeks away, people will be traveling to relatives, friends, or anyone's house, yeah. or getting away to enjoy some much needed time away from home. However, there's some important things you might want to remember if you would like to ever go back. Yes, and you want that return <laughs> invitation. Christine Chen is the president of Global Professional Protocol. She's here today. She's got tips on how that we can be that considerate house guest. That's what we want to be. Hi, Christine. Hi, how are you? It's great to see you. And, you know, I remember the rule my mother always taught me about being a guest. She says, you know, after three days, it's like fish, right? right. Yeah. You want to throw it out. Yeah, don't ever say it. Three days, they start to smell. <laughs> so, if we're going somewhere, a lot of people like to go visit grandparents or people right. they don't see a lot during the year, especially during right. kids' spring break. What are some of the first things you should be doing in preparation to know that while you're there, you're kind of going to be on the best behavior? Right. Well, especially if you have children, it's so important to prep them before you go because. Your kids might be used to jumping on the furniture at home, <laughs> running around the house, leaving toys out, but when you're at someone else's house, it's a whole different ball game. <laughs> you know, they, so I think really prepping your kids before you go and saying, listen, no jumping on the furniture. If you take toys, keep them in your room. You, know, you can play with them in the common areas of the house, but put them away because your hosts don't want to go around picking up their kids' toys and your kids' toys and even the adults thing, you know, sunglasses on the counter and right. things laying all over the place. Keep it confined to your room and I like that. And you know, a good reminder too, to go over just simple manners with your children, because sometimes at home right. we're more lax, but I mean, oh, when you're right. out at a, at a friend's yes. and you want to say your pleases and thank yous oh, absolutely. and may eyes and all that. <laughs> yeah. So. yeah, they should. And, they, and the kids should not be going to the refrigerator and helping themselves like they do at home, unless the, they're close friends or family members that you're visiting, or if they say, help yourself, here's where the fruit is kept here, then you can do that. But just to go and start rummaging through. <laughs> You know, I've yep. had that happen before. <laughs> yes, yes. You don't really mind, but at the same time, it's a little <laughs> unnerving. Right. In terms of having, you know, kids there and, and, and if they invite you into the home and say, you know, mm -hmm. we're going to have you here, we're going to cook all these meals, how much should you be offering to do if you're staying in someone else's house, even though they've opened the doors right, to you? Right, right. Well, a lot of times, especially spring break, everybody has different breaks. And if you're a visitor in someone else's home, they may not be on... Uh, they may not be on break. Right. Maybe they're working the next day. Maybe their kids are still in school. So it's not a vacation where you go plop down on the couch and expect to be served. Chip in. Help with the meals. Take out the trash. Offer to take the dog for a walk. Do little things that make it easier on the guests. Because when you leave, if your guest just sits back, I'm exhausted. Right. You know, you might, they might be busy when you ask, or maybe their house will be under huge renovations when you say, can I come? We're coming to Florida. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and the, and the other thing, too, is um, you know, during the day when they're at work or at, at school, mm -hmm. and, you know, maybe doing your own thing, getting out of their house, right. getting out of their space for yeah. uh, a well, few hours. Right? Yeah, well, many times when you go visit, you think, oh, I'm Going to let them just plan the whole itinerary, but you should really do your homework ahead of time. Don't expect them to have things for you to do every day. And as a host myself, it's kind of nice sometimes to have the guest. Oh, we're going to go tour DC today. And many times we've all living in this area, we've seen things a million times. And it is fun to go with your guests, but at the same time, maybe it's nice for them to go on their own. And right. a guest shouldn't feel offended like you don't want to go. <laughs> <laughs> How do you broach the subject? Obviously, spring break usually is a week long for the kids. Mm -hmm. and, and if somebody says, why don't you all you know, come up to D.C. and come right. see the monuments, and it'll right. be a great time of year. And, oh, great, we'll come for the week. How do you even have that conversation? Yeah. Obviously, you want them to come and visit. Mm -hmm. you, you don't want to seem like you don't want them there. Right. But sometimes a week is That's too a long. long time, isn't yeah. it? Well, the one thing, you never want to show up early. And if you you have a date that you say you're leaving, leave on that date. Even if you're having the best time. You want to leave when they're they still saying, oh, don't come leave that. We're really enjoying you. Right. A friend of mine said once, be like a butterfly. <laughs> Just flutter in, stay for a few days, and flutter out when they're still saying, oh, we still want to see you. Don't be that housefly that sticks on the wall. <laughs> and I wish they would leave. Right. But a week is long, and so you, you can call it. If you're the get or the host, you could say, listen, I'm available between the, this time and this time and then honor that, yeah. you know, um, don't good overstay. Uh, sometimes when we go to family or friend's house, we'll stay, you know, three or four days, and then I'll say, let's get a hotel for the rest of the time. And just 
give yeah. them a break. Yeah. Give them space. Yeah. Yeah. Give some space. All right. So when you arrive at the door, you don't want to show up empty-handed, do you? No. A little no. gift would be nice. Exactly. And and again, you have to do a little bit of homework too because you don't want to show up with uh, chocolate-covered peanuts. If there's a peanut allergic, allergy, right? Yeah, yeah. right? Right? Or something, if they're vegetarian, show up with something mm -hmm. <laughs> that would they wouldn't be eating. But do a little homework, and it doesn't have to be expensive. Just, uh, you know, some flowers, a candle, something small, some note cards, just to show that you appreciate it. And then when you leave, you have a better idea of what their tastes are. Right. Then go ahead and purchase something unique in the area and leave when you uh, head home. And speaking of, uh, you know, maybe being allergic to peanuts, right. if you do have some dietary restrictions, you should make that known in advance, right? Sure, sure. Yeah. And many get, many hosts will ask you, do you have any restrictions? But at the same time, you should, if you have a gluten intolerance or if you are vegetarian, you shouldn't expect them to go out and buy all these things that they have no idea what it is. What it is yeah. Bring some of those things with you uh, to make it easier because when you do have some of those restrictions and people don't understand it can be really daunting yes, yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> absolutely a lot of great advice I know a lot of people are very excited to get ready to go on spring break so yes. good tips to take with you when you head out the door not just not just the suitcase bring a little extra along That's as right. well it's coming yeah. soon isn't I it? know yeah. right around the corner <laughs> with global professional protocol we love it when you come in absolutely Thank point you. us in the right direction <laughs> <laughs> good reminders thanks Christine. Yeah.